Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Today I'm gonna to start working on a bookcase for one of the rooms in our house. But this design for this bookcase is gonna be unlike any other design that I came up with for a bookcase in the past. So instead of using panels for the left and right side or even the back of the bookcase, this bookcase isn't gonna have any panels and the left and right sides and even the back are gonna be open and hopefully it'll look pretty cool. Before I can cut the post to rough width at the bandsaw, I'm gonna make one edge nice and flat and I'm gonna do that at the joiner. With all of the rail stock cut to rough length, I'm gonna straighten one edge of the joiner and then I'll cut all of these to rough width by ripping them at the table saw. Now that I have all the parts cut to rough length and rough width, it's time to start working on the faces. So the next thing I'm gonna do is flatten all the faces and plane each piece to final thickness. For the posts, I need to square two faces together and then the opposite two faces will get planed to thickness. Before I flatten one face, I used a pencil to make a mark all the way down the length of the post. That way I'll know where the joiner is hitting and where it's not. Now that I have one flat face on all of the posts, I need to flatten and square one adjoining face, and I'll do that next. With all the posts squared and dimension to thickness, I can turn my attention back to the rails. I'm gonna flatten one face, square one edge, and then plane them to thickness. At the joiner, I need to square all of the edges of all the rail stock, and then at the table saw, I'll rip them all to their final width. Before I can go any further, I need to cut all of the pieces to their final length. But before I do that, I'm gonna cut one end nice and square. I'm gonna start working on the joinery next. And for that, I'm gonna use loose tenon joinery, which means I need to make end grain mortises in all of the rails. And to make those end grain mortises, I'm gonna use my horizontal mortiser. With all the end grain mortises and all the rails out of the way, I'm gonna stop part one here, and I'll pick up next time with the mortises and the posts, and I still have to make all the shelves. So I hope you guys will come back next time for part two, and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And also consider becoming a member of my Patreon community and support what I do here. Thanks for watching, guys.